You know, I've been thinking of selling my sword lately. Good thing I sold my max day OTD for 8 million coins to someone. And now, I've been tasked with the most important task. To choose between the four new swords that I want. The Fell Sword, the Midas, the Livid Dagger, or a Warped AOTE. Originally, I wanted to get a Warped AOTE, but when I looked into the other swords more, I got extremely interested. First, the Fell Sword. When maxed, performs as good as a non-gilded 50 mil Midas. Maybe even better. Its abilities are focused towards a healer on dungeons, which I main. So obviously, the best choice for a sword would be the Fell Sword. But no, no, I'm just dumb. I, I didn't want it. Second, the Midas Sword. To be honest, I don't even want to talk, bother talking about this sword. Literally everybody knows about it and how it works. It's, it's pointless to even talk about it. Third, the Warped AOTE. I would have gotten this sword, to be honest, if it didn't perform better with Strong. Buying a Warped AOTE would have rendered my superior set useless. The only good armor set that I actually have. Fourth, the Livid Dagger. I've actually been wanting to get the Livid Dagger for some time. And by the time I got the courage to get one, they nerfed the goddamn thing. To be honest, I'm not surprised they nerfed it. Everybody started calling the Livid Dagger not as good as the Warped AOTE anymore, and people just ditched it. But there are a handful of people who still support the Livid Dagger, including me. So, I decided to get the Livid Dagger. The Livid Dagger on the auction house is about 10 million coins clean. I didn't want to get this, so instead, I started grinding for it. I was extremely lucky to get the Livid Dagger and only 20 Livid kills from an obsidian chest in S. I wasn't recording whilst this happened, because I didn't think I'd actually get it this quickly, but I do have some screenshots of it that I can show. Before I continue with this video, I'm very sorry that I had to say this, but if I want to get past the 100 million subscribers that I definitely have, I'm gonna have to ask you to like and subscribe my video so that I can be more motivated to make more videos. Thank you. Now that we have obtained our Livid Dagger, which I have stored in this backpack right here, I have also got enchants for it, because, or else this thing is going to do, like, no damage. But, there is a spooky festival in 2 hours and 50 minutes, and I do not have, where is it, uh, Vampirism 6, or Lifesteal 4. I can't guarantee myself getting Vampirism 6, but I'll probably be able to get Lifesteal 4. So I'll wait till Spooky Event to be, to be able to put on the enchants for this thing. But first, the most important thing, a damage test. Superior set, Tiger Pet. How much damage do I do? Huh. That isn't even that bad, actually. I participated in the spooky event like I said I would. I didn't really get anything good though, except for the Lifesteal 4, because I didn't, I actually wasn't even that close to getting the Lifesteal 4, dude. I got I got wrecked. I came like top 400. I was nowhere near getting the Vampirism 4. Oh, this is so sad. Oh well, I can't really do anything about it now, can I? At least I have Lifesteal 4. Well, now that we have all the enchants we need, I say we should go enchant our sword. That's not how you spell hub. Yeah, I say we should go enchant our sword now, except I don't have enough XP levels, so I'm gonna have to spend my bank account on Titanics. <sighs> the things I do for more damage. We have all of our enchants set up. Let's start enchanting, shall we? Boring. I didn't do anything to deserve this. What did I do to deserve this? I just spent like 900k on experience levels. Oh god, finally. Uh, that has all the enchants, right? Yes. Okay, and now we must visit the trusty Rusty. That rhymed. Visit trusty Rusty. And we can go put 
telekinesis on our livid beggar. Now we also have to get hot potato books for fully enchanted. Let's go. Aha! They are filled! Now my potatoes are ready to boost my weapon stats more than it already has. Oh my god, I broke. Now that we have enchanted our sword, the next thing to worry about is reforges. Our livid dagger already gives 100% base crit chance, so we don't have to worry about anything crit chance related like shop. So obviously, the best reforge for the sword would be spicy, but no, there is an even better reforge than spicy for a sword, and it's called Fabled. Fabled is from a dragon claw dropped by dragons that any any dragon except for superior drops this and applies the fabled reforge on your sword. The best reforge for a sword that isn't a Midas. And we're going to be putting it on our sword. We must go to Malik. Malik is a special blacksmith that will apply reforge stones on armor pieces, talismans, or swords. And he's going to be applying fabled on our sword today. But from last video, I still have the spike reforge on my armor, which is now not needed anymore because the livid dagger already gives a base attack speed and crit chance of 100, so we can reforge our superior armor back to spike. But the problem is talismans. All of my talismans are forceful, and having all of your talismans on forceful isn't the best way to get damage. You want to even out your damage on crit damage if you want to be able to deal the most damage. So first, we're going to start by reforging our armor fierce for the extra crit damage. Now that we have reforged our armor back to fierce, we're gonna have to worry about talismans. Even with my livid dagger out, my strength is almost 300 more. 350 more than my crit damage, which is too much. I have found a new reforge called Shaded Reforge. Applied from the Dark Orb. What? Oh my god. This better be worth it. I'm really hoping getting this sword was worth it. Like, really hoping. Tiger Pet. Superior. Livid Dagger. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh. This thing does a lot of damage. Oh, over a hundred thousand damage a hit to Enderman. And that's not even considering the back. Back Reforge lets you do double if the Enderman wouldn't like stop chasing me. 207,000 damage with this sword. This is an extremely overpowered sword. I in no way regret getting this. We did it, boys. We did it. We got a maxed 5 star fabled livid dagger with as many maximum enchants, level 6 enchants as I could get. I don't have to use this goddamn scorpion foil anymore. That's going in the backpack. We're going to be using this thing now. I think the first test that I want to perform is on Sven because there's no point performing this on Revs or Taras because I have a scorpion foil and a uh, reaper falchion for that instead of a livid dagger so we can just go through that and we can try a Sven 4 and see how quick it goes at 100% attack speed should like shred through the Sven like really quickly let's let's just find out how it goes okay we're about to summon the Sven let's see how it goes where is it going no, I love this. I love this AI that they have. Wait, I just got. Oh boy! Oh boy, that's so good. The attack speed is so overpowered, and I just gotta travel to Halic Caves Scroll, and I don't actually know how much that's worth, but I don't actually care because I can't use it. Oh, that was so quick! I didn't even realize I was killing it. That's how quick it was. Oh, 26 seconds. Well, 
the AI is rigged, so I blame 26 seconds on the AI. I bet I could have gotten 15 or 14 seconds. But, yeah, that's, that's so good. The 100% attack speed's underrated. It's Everybody should try to get this weapon. It's so good. Yeah, I'm, 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 this is this is a really good weapon. We should. Tr I'm gonna test this on an endstone protector and see how that goes. Okay, endstone protector spawning. You guys ready? And a flux. We Cuba. We need to try get behind his back and attack with the livid dagger. That's the only way we'll be able to get high damage. Second position, 815,000 damage! That quickly? Whoa, that's so good! Oh, I in any way do not regret getting this sword. This is such a good sword. The attack speed is so overpowered as well. Okay, I think the next test is gonna be on dragons. I don't know if it works on all. Oh. Talking about dragons, uh. Well, Let's leech a dragon now, shall we? Unstable. And I didn't have my bow out, so I wasn't able to properly do anything. Now, I'll do it. This isn't like a proper test. I'm just leeching a drag because I don't actually have anything better to do. Well, it's fine. It's not like I'm probably gonna get like 20k damage because I'm just that good at the game. Never mind. I'm getting much more. Oh, I, I see, like, this thing is already dying. People probably an elegant tuxedo. Oh, watch this thing not stop, and I can't melee it, which means I can't even deal with it. And it died. Okay. Well, I tried. Next one, we'll make sure not to get in a sweaty lobby like this one. <laughs> oh, God. Well, as you saw from that video, I did dragons. Now, now, I want to point out a few things from that dragon, okay? First of all, my computer thought it was funny, game and itself, mid-recording. So, so like, you can't even hear my voice anymore for some reason. And now it's working again, so I don't really care anymore. Um, and also... I, I was record I was playing at like 20 FPS, so I couldn't even like see the dragon properly. And also the the dragon didn't stop at all. I, I didn't even get like a chance to properly melee it. So I got like 2k damage every single goddamn dragon. I would do another dragon, but uh, I don't want to waste another 1.2 million coins for like no reason. So it's just take my word for it. I leached a dragon later and got like. 3 mil damage on it. 
just take my word for it. I can't really give you anything to prove that I did it. Just take my word for it, okay? Well, this video was supposed to be more of a thing to... Not to flex my money so that I can afford a livid dagger. Yeah, I can afford a livid dagger. The, the point of this video was to show people that the livid dagger is still a good weapon. And I hope you realize that it still is. So all my procedures and, you know... I, I think the livid dagger is a good weapon. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty decent weapon. Let's move a lot of damage. The only good, the only thing that the sword isn't good for is dragons. Everything else it's good for. So, yeah, I'd say this was a success. I mean, I got a sword upgrade, so I'm not complaining. I hope you enjoyed my video, and peace.